So, remember, take the bow in the left hand, in the middle somewhere. Now take your right hand, remember the thumb and the longest finger, they are friends, and hold the bow somewhere where your silver, you see this little silver thing is, yes, like this. Okay, now leave, release the left hand and you have the bow as it should be. Now you can turn it a bit, go up and down with it, turn it round, play a bit with it. Okay, so this is the position and maybe remember our spider exercise you can also do. Yes. Okay, now please your chin, take the violin. So your chin is taking now the violin. Remember, left shoulder, your hand is in rest position here, you can put it there, okay? Now take the bow and we start with the E string, yeah? And in the E string, your shoulder and your arm can be quite relaxed and uh, almost hanging. The elbow should be always a bit on the height of your string, yeah? It can be a bit lower with the E string, but kind of same level as your string. Now see the piece we do, it's called Bowing and Rhythm Exercises and you see, I will send you the paper also, there's A, the rhythm pattern, we do today A, it's 4 sixteenths and 2 eighth notes, which means in language, rhythm language, tiri tiri ti ti, tiri tiri ti ti, tiri tiri ti ti. And then you see written at letter A, E string, tiri tiri ti ti, and two rests. And then the same again. And repeat. Now Eugene will show you this. Put the bow somewhere in the middle and always parallel to the bridge. Please. Repeat. Repeat. Now we do the same on the A string. Your elbow has to be a bit more up for this. And also on the D string the same thing. See his fingers at the ball, very loose. Don't be stiff and don't lift your shoulder. You see the elbow is a bit higher now. Thank you. Enjoy. Please, every day, 10 minutes if you can, and send us your results. We are very much looking forward. Bye-bye.